Hi, let me give you a quick demonstration of the ICE ERS API capabilities using Postman. So you can see here I have uh, Postman running and I have some REST API uh, commands call that I've uh, set up here ahead of time here. So let's take a look at my ICE instance. So in my ICE instance I have a downloadable ACL list. I'll show you here. So there's a bunch of ACLs. First one is the ASA VPN underscore allow all, and there's a bunch more here, okay? One through 10 test ACLs. And then this one has some ACLs that I configured earlier. So the first one is a uh, host 2.2.4.4 and port 6677. So these are just a sample ACL here. So we're gonna go ahead and modify this. I can easily do it here and sh uh, change it, but I'm gonna show you the capabilities of the uh, ERS API. So let's go ahead and go back to Postman. So I'm going to go ahead and make the first call um, with the Postman call. Um, there's a couple of headers you have to configure in terms of the uh, header for accept for the application JSON and content type in JSON and configure the authorizations to do basic authentication with a username and password that allows you to do the, the read and writes. Okay, and then afterwards simply make the appropriate uh, REST API call. So the first example I'm going to show you here is a GET call. And this is the uh, HTTPS uh, IP address of my ICE on port 9060 and slash ERS config downloadable ACLs. Um, interested in look working with the downloadable ACL. So I make this call and I get a status code of 200 back which is a good thing. And then now you can see here's a, all the uh, downloadable ACLs that are available within ICE. So here's the ASA VPN underscore allow all here. Then each ACL has a unique ID associated with it. That's how ICE uses it here. Okay, and if I just scroll down, there's just a bunch of ACLs, ACL 3, 4, 5 that we saw earlier. Okay, so that's a listing of all the ACLs. Now the next one here, my next tab function call is, I'm going to go ahead and drill deeper into a specific ACL that with the ID that I mentioned earlier. So, so I'm interested in the ASA VPN one here. So I'm going to use this ID that ends with uh, 34728. So I'm going to go ahead. Basically, it's this link here that uh, you can use. So I'm going to use that link here for a get command. So now I'm going to go ahead and dive deeper into that ACL. And you can see here that ID gives me the a actual ACL um, configure and then I. So it's all shown here. Okay. Now, what if you want to change this? Okay, well, you can change this by using a put command. So here's another uh, tab here. Right? And now this time is a put command instead of a get. I'm making that same ERS API call to that downloadable ACL with the ID, but it's a put command. And within the body of the, the context, the text here, right, I can put in an additional line as an example. Let's go ahead and put in a, a new command of deny TC at UDP, any, going to host, I'll call that 3.3.3.3, then EQ port 3.333. Okay, let me finish that with a, a line here. So that's my new addition I want to add to my ACL. I'm going to add it to the beginning of it. So I'm going to go ahead and help hit send. And it showed me down here at the bottom that um, the old value, this is the previous ACL, and now this is the new ACL that, that's going to get pushed with the 3.3.3.3. Okay, so it got pushed. So it's actually quite simple using a, a the Postman uh, REST API client here. So let's go verify our ICE ACL here. Okay, so let's go back to the ASA VPN allow all. And there it is. You can see the first line of 3.3.3.3 .3 .3 .3 and port 3333 got added uh, to the ACL here using the API client. Perfect. Now this works great for a single client. Um, what happened if I, or single ACL, what happened if I need to modify um, all of these ACLs? It could be hundreds of them. Well, so we can do a bulk action here using some uh, more advanced scripting here. So let's go ahead and try that. So we have a, a script written by our DevNet specialist. So there's a script here. I'm going to go ahead and run a Python script for ICE ACL editor. So let's go ahead and run this. And this uh, is going to get applied to all the ACLs in my ICE instance. So let's go ahead and do a, a 
uh, let's do a permit UDP any going to host and let's do 4.4.4.4 .4 .4 .4 and then port 4444 and then there you go and now it's sending this command okay and it's giving you some status the, of the API call so don't need to worry about it for now and then now that's done okay so that script is done let's go into my downloadable ACL list of uh, what we added that was on I uh, was basically was a line we added in there uh, 4.4.4.4 .4 .4. okay so let's take a look there it is my a say VPN allow all it's 4.4.4.4 .4 .4 .4 .4 and port 4444 .4. that's the first ACL and let's do a spot check here let's check ACL well, how about this one employee allow all here it is too permit UDP any host 4444 port 4444 okay and then how about uh, ACL number one here same thing 4-4 four, four, it's all there so it added into all the ACLs even down to the very last let's see number nine same thing port 4-4 four, four, it's all there so using the REST API uh, we updated all the ACLs with the new additions we wanted in, in a very uh, quick fashion all right hopefully that makes sense and um, Hopefully uh, you learned something from this brief demo.